Where are the clean towels? In the wash. They smelled like a sweaty jock strap. And that's a bad thing? Oh, here, give me your robe. I gotta dry off. I'm naked under here. Even better. Okay, wait a sec. Here. Thanks. Don't just stand there. You're getting the floor all wet. So hurry. You know, you two are like an old married couple. Are you okay? Hey. You're like a young, unmarried couple. Hey, there's a beer bus tonight, the mother load. No cover before 10. You should check it out. I don't want to meet someone in a bar. <laughs> hey, hey, why not? It's where I met him. Yeah, you know, it's just, I'm not the bar type. I walk into a bar, I'm invisible. I keep telling him to hit the gym more. Muscles aren't the answer to everything. They're not? Stop. You're getting crumbs on the couch. Good night. I wouldn't kick you out of my bed for eating cookies, that's for sure. You gonna spend the night? <laughs> all the gym rats and all the bars and all of West Hollywood, you had to walk into mine. <laughs> and I really love you, Quentin. I love you too, Rex. Rex? That's not what I- I love you too. Rex? Yeah. When I heard that key in the door, I thought, oh, Rex is home. I'll be right back. You waited up for me? You're such a sweet roommate. Or you were. You don't want me to move out. Did I say that? But since you brought it up, six months? Hello, he's more like a very long one night stand. Six months is practically a decade in gay years. What, you don't like Daniel? It's just, you graduated top of your class from Princeton and he's a ditch digger. Construction worker. Whatever. He wears one of those orange vests. No one looks good in those. So what? He looks good out of it. I don't know what's worse, your shallowness or my snobbery. Your snobbery. <sighs> so how was the beer bust? Did you meet anyone? I'm invisible, remember? Not even a phone number on a soggy little cocktail napkin. They're all idiots. Quentin! I'll be right there. I uh, accidentally called him Rex. Get out, you did? what do he say? I don't know, that's when you came home, so I bolted. Coward. You better go in there, stand by your man. What are you doing tomorrow night? I mean, I thought I could make some cannelloni, we could hang out, you know, just us. Well, I'd have to reschedule the date I have with that really cute lifeguard I met tonight. What the hell? Okay, I'll see you in the morning. Come on, Danny. So I called you another guy's name. I mean, it happens. Haven't you ever done it before? No, no, I haven't. And it wasn't just another guy's name, it was Rex. Yeah, my best friend. Maybe I want to be your best friend. I can have two best friends. This may sound a little selfish and possessive and unreasonable to you, but I'm in love with you. And I don't want to share you with Rex, especially not in the sack. Tell him we've never done it, put him at ease. Uh, I don't even think that put him at ease. Let me ask you something. When you were in the middle of your I'll hump anything with two legs and a penis phase, how come you never made a pass at me? I just figured it would ruin our friendship. And you were totally terrified. Of what? That I could take you places you've only dreamt about. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you guys will work things out. Daniel's a great guy. Good night. Good night. You really thought it would ruin our friendship? Huh. Hey, Rex. Go long. You go first. You? I always have to go first. Last night was a mistake. 
I'm just glad you said it first. I feel exactly the same way. Maybe we were just getting it out of our systems. You have a boyfriend. And you love him, right? Quentin. What? Hey, Rex. Sorry I'm late. I got here as soon as I could. Hi. Sammy. Quentin. Hey, Danny, it's me. Listen, I don't have cold feet anymore. Can you come over? Please. And bring those moving boxes. Hey. Hey. How soon can we move? Tomorrow night, soon enough? Definitely. Does Rex know about this? Let's not talk about Rex. Come on. What happened? You finally realize you couldn't live without me? Mm, like oxygen. Since when do you wear underwear? Hmm? Oh, no, those are Rex's. I borrowed them uh, in my quasi-attempt to go mainstream down under. <laughs> How'd they get under your pillow? Oh, uh -huh. Tooth fairy? <laughs> More like the Rex fairy, maybe? <laughs> you finally sleep together, and then you beg me to come over and forgive you? No. Would you tell me if you did? Don't do this. It was a mistake. You know how that movie said that guys and girls can't be friends? Well, this is sort of the gay version of that. Proving that it's gone. Not that it was ever even there, but we got it out of the way. That's all it was, Daniel. A, a moment of vulnerable, nostalgic confusion. Why were you so vulnerable? Because I am on the verge of change. We are moving in together. I am in love with you. You have a unique way of showing it. I know this sounds crazy, but it sort of helped me realize how much I want you. It's the oldest take-me-back-in-the-book, you know that? Last night was the worst behavior of my life, Daniel. I am so sorry. Can you forgive me? I don't blame you. How could you ever trust me again? Yes. What? Yeah, yeah, I, I want to give it a shot. I do. I, I'll probably regret it in a year when Rex is sleeping on our couch every night, or worse, climbing into bed with us. But I want to do this. Feeling? All right. Where's Quentin? He went to the store. He should be back soon. I think he's planning on staying home tonight. I mean, here. Listen, Rex, I'm gonna tell Quentin not to move in with me. What? He's your best friend, and I'm not gonna bust that up right now. You guys decided to move in together. Come on, Rex, look at you. You're a mess. What, are you saying I can't live without him? Yeah, and he'll never be happy knowing that. He loves you. He's all packed and ready to go. I'm not. This isn't about me. You've got cold feet. If you're not ready to have Quentin move in with you, that's fine, I guess. But don't pin that on me. It's just so sudden. But you're the one who asked him. I never thought he'd say yes. You men are all alike. Hey, Assume you're a man, too. Do you see me moving in with anyone? That's because you already live with someone. A friend, not a lover. How much of a friend was he the other night when you were sucking That was an accident. That's a lame excuse. It's a reality. I think you need to face your reality, that you don't really love him. Shut up! Just stop it! I wasn't doing anything. I heard you. No, you misunderstood it. Daniel, tell him. Oh, perfect. You two deserve each other. You're both cowards. We're cowards? Yeah, look at walking away. Talk to lover boy. I am talking oh, to you. Sit Bite me. Down. Get back here. No. What are you gonna do? Tackle me? You know where that can lead. Lisa. Quentin, calm down. No, let me at him. I leave you alone with you for two minutes and you're already trying to sabotage things again. First with your phony panic attack and now this? Listen, Quentin! It wasn't phony. 
I was scared. Yeah, I'd be scared too if I had your life. There's nothing wrong with my life. Good, then stop buttoning it into mine. Come on, Daniel, let's just go. Give me out know, these boxes. Wait, please, hear me out. What? I've got something to tell you. Rex wasn't trying to mess things up between us. It's just the opposite. What? I told him I was having cold feet about us moving in together, and he tried to talk me out of it. He did? Well, was he successful? Yeah. I think I'm ready to do this. You think? Well, does anybody ever really know for sure? I mean, it'll be weird at first. You know, I'm not used to living with anybody. You're used to living with only Rex. I'm sure we'll argue about stuff, but for the most part, yeah, I want to do this. What made you change your mind so fast? Rex. Rex? He's not in love with you, Quentin. He loves you a lot, and he's probably the best friend you'll ever have. Rex. Well, I've made up my mind. What about you? Get me down by the truck. You got it. See you soon. Definitely. Maybe, but not too soon. <laughs> Go ahead. Get out of here. What if you have another attack? I'm breathing fine. Hey. Breathe. See? Escape while you still can. Goodbye, Rex. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. That's it. What's the occasion? Housewarming? I thought you already lived here for a while. Call that living? Why not? 